What's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an old desktop or a laptop into a Chromebook or a Chromebox, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be running Chrome OS on this all from a USB drive. Well, this is an offshoot of Chrome OS and Chromium from a company named Neverware, and this is called Cloud Ready. We pretty much have Chrome OS running on these old desktops or laptops. Unfortunately, with Cloud Ready, we can't run Android apps like we can on some of the newer Chromebooks, but overall, this is a great operating system for repurposing an old machine like this. We do have access to YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, pretty much everything we can in the Chrome browser or the Chromium browser will work on Cloud Ready, and you can even go to Google Docs and use those. So in my opinion, this is a great operating system to throw on an old machine like this for your kids or your parents, people who just kind of surf the web, you know, always on YouTube, always on Netflix. You can access thousands of Google Chrome Store apps on this machine. So basically, this is a nice lightweight operating system for people who are just always online. And it'll run from a USB stick, so if you get a machine like this, you don't have to worry about buying a hard drive or an SSD. You can just throw a USB stick in here, put Cloud Ready on it, and you're good to go. If you really wanted to, you could install this to the hard drive. It's very easy to do. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it to a USB drive and get it up and running on your old machine. Before we get into the setup process, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the machine I'm using this on. This is an old Optiplex 3060, has a Core 2 Duo at 3 gigahertz in it with onboard GMA 3100 graphics and 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. From this small USB drive, I also have a USB Wi-Fi dongle that I got from Amazon. Link for that is in the description. I'm running video over VGA to this monitor here. It does have a built-in speaker and is working from there, but you can also use the 3.5 millimeter audio out to speakers or the monitor. All right, so let's go ahead and get this installed to a USB drive. Yes, this can be installed to a hard drive after we install it here, but I prefer running it all from a USB. I can swap systems if I want to, and I don't have to spend any money on an extra hard drive or SSD for this whole machine. First thing we want to do is insert our USB drive into the PC we're going to be flashing with. I'm using Windows 10 here. There are instructions on their website on how to do this on Mac also, but I prefer using a Windows machine. I have my USB drive here. It's a SanDisk UltraFit 32 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive. USB 2.0 will also work and you could use an eight gig if you wanted to. If you don't have any drives, I'll leave links to Amazon in the description. This software is brought to us by Neverware.com. It's really easy to install. They have a full installation guide here or you can just follow along with this video if you want to. We're gonna go to Cloud Ready Editions and choose Home. We're gonna scroll down like I mentioned, we're going to be using a Windows machine to make this USB drive, but they do have instructions for Mac or Chromebook. We're just going to download the USB maker here. It's going to download fairly quickly. It's only about 50 megabytes. When it's finished, I'm going to place it right on my desktop for easy access. We're going to start up the Cloud Ready USB maker. Welcome to the Cloud Ready Creation Utility. You're going to need an 8 gigabyte or a 16 gigabyte USB stick. I'm using a 32 and 20 minutes for the USB install creation. We're going to click Next. The PC I'm going to be using this on is an old Dell Optiplex 360 with a Core 2 Duo. This was made after 2007. I'm going to use the 64 bit version. If you have an old PC, you might want to try 32 if 64 doesn't work, but I recommend trying this first. Click Next. Now, for some reason, it's saying that SanDisk devices are not recommended, but the one I have here, this tiny UltraFit 32, works perfect for this. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. SanDisk UltraFit. That's the USB drive we're going to be flashing this to. Click Next. So it's going to download the image and flash it to our USB drive. When this is finished, it's going to let us know it's finished. Then we're going to remove the USB drive from this system, place it in the PC we want to run this on, and we'll have to enter the boot menu to boot from the USB drive. Just give it a little while to finish up. It did say it could take up to 20 minutes. This really depends on how fast your USB drive is and your internet connection. So our USB drive is finished flashing. All we need to do now is remove the drive from this PC and move over to the older one we want to run Cloud Ready on. So in order to do this, we're going to have to enter the boot menu on the other PC. All manufacturers have different hotkeys to get into the boot menu, and you can also get into the BIOS and set it to boot from the USB every time you start the computer up. 
For instance, the Dell I'm going to be running this on, the hotkey to enter the boot menu is F12. So when the computer is starting up for the first time, we're going to press F12 rapidly on our keyboard. It's going to bring us to the boot menu, and from there, I can select to boot from this USB drive. Like I mentioned, all manufacturers are different, so you're going to have to find your boot menu hotkey. You can just do a quick Google search to do that. And if you want to set it up in the BIOS, it's going to be a little different for each computer. But basically what I did on this Dell was disable all other drives except for USB. So I have three things I'm going to be plugging into this machine. My 32 gigabyte USB stick, my keyboard and mouse dongle, and this Wi-Fi dongle I need to get online. Ethernet will also work if you don't want to use Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to plug everything in here. Got that Wi-Fi dongle plugged into the back. And I'm going to power the unit up. I'm just going to press the power button. While it's booting up, this is a Dell, so I'm going to press F12. This is going to bring me into the boot menu. Your PC may be different. Do a quick Google search to find out how. At the very top of my boot menu, it says USB device. I'm going to go ahead and boot from that. That's the only drive I have installed on this machine. The first boot's going to be the longest boot. It has to do some stuff behind the scenes on the USB drive, but you should be welcomed with this cloud-ready screen here. Setup is super easy. Since I have that Wi-Fi dongle installed, it's going to ask me to connect to Wi-Fi. If you're using Ethernet, it probably won't even prompt you. From here, I'm just going to click Next. It's going to ask me to connect to my network. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. You'll need to agree to some terms here. You can go ahead and read through this if you want to. And I usually turn location services off. Anything that's asking for my location is always disabled with any operating system I install. Like I said, you can sign in with a guest account if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with the account I've been using on here. All of my settings are saved, so when I sign back into here, I'm going to have some apps that I've already downloaded and my wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my game capture device so it's a little easier to see. So here it is, you're now running cloud ready on an old desktop or laptop, otherwise known as Chrome OS or Chromium OS. There's a few settings we need to change in order to get Netflix and Hulu working on here. I'm gonna go over those real quick, but on your initial boot up, on the initial setup, it's gonna ask you if you wanna take a guided tour. I do recommend taking the guided tour, it's just gonna get you used to navigating through here. But I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. In the bottom right hand corner, we can change our Wi-Fi. We can turn Bluetooth on and off notifications, nightlight, cast, our volume. We can install the OS to a selected hard disk. Now this is going to erase that disk, whether it's a hard drive or an SSD. But if we run it just like this, it's going to be running from the USB drive. We also have our power button, lock, and more settings here. If we go to the bottom left hand corner, this is going to bring up our little app dock. I've already installed a few things. Like I said, this is going to carry everything over if you sign in with a Google account. There's a couple things we want to enable in here. So we're going to go down and open up Chrome. In the top right hand corner, the three little dots, we're going to click this and go to settings. From here, we want to install Adobe Flash. You really don't need it anymore, but I always install it anyway. And we're also going to install proprietary media components. This is going to allow us to watch Netflix and Hulu. After they're installed, we're going to have to do a restart. So go ahead and restart your system. That way we can access Netflix and watch movies from there. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go to the Chrome store if you want to. Download a bunch of apps from there. Like I mentioned, Google Docs works. You can go to Gmail. So everything you do in this operating system will carry over. If you want to plug this into another PC and boot it up, you'll have the same background and everything like that. Speaking of the background, there's a few things we can change here. Right click on your desktop, shelf position, we can set it over to the left, right, or bottom. I prefer mine on the bottom here. We can also change the wallpaper. So there's a bunch to choose from here. If you want to change it, you can go ahead and do that from here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. You now have Chrome OS up and running on an old desktop or laptop. This will also work on new devices if this is something you want to do with a new device. It's really up to you. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And there's also tons of information over on the website we downloaded this from. Links are in the description. Really appreciate it. If you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. And like always, thanks for watching.